day job because <laughs> it's really expensive to live out there. So, um, you know, there were times where I had two, three jobs, plus I was going to acting school, auditioning. Um, I don't know, it can be kind of tricky, but, but it was a lot of fun. Now, I know one of the um, stereotypes is the actor who winds up working as a waiter or waitress all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you were actually telling me about how it's not that difficult to do uh, extra work uh, on a daily basis. Oh, sure. I mean, you can sign up with different casting agencies like Central Casting, and they cast for a lot of the major motion pictures. And um, one of my first jobs out there was as a stand-in for Jennifer Jason Lee. And I worked on this film for, uh, I think it was about five weeks, uh, as her stand-in and double. And I did some stunt work and stuff. So that was like a 12 to 14 hour a day job that I did for that long. So I didn't have a job, a regular job at that time and I was able to live off the money for a while. Um, so yeah, I mean you can do that and then it's a good way to network and, and meet people. Um, but if you're going to do that a lot, you're not going to be able to audition either. So. Is there still the danger, um, I know a lot of people who've lived out there in the past have said, oh, you never want to do extra work because then you are, are pigeonholed into that and nobody will want you for anything else. Is that still uh, the, way, the, the way of thinking out there or has that well, changed? Yeah, except I think, I don't know of any actors who've lived out there who haven't done extra work. Everyone has done it. They might not talk about it or say they've done it or whatever. Um, but it is, like I said, it's a great way to meet people. Sometimes you'll get a line. Sometimes, I mean, like I worked on this commercial and there was like 300 people at the commercial when I first moved out there. And I got picked to be like one of five that was a featured um, extra. So I got paid extra money and it, you know what I mean? So it's like sometimes it can work out. It's not something that you want to do all the time. And it's not something you want to do if you're like one of 100 people, if you're just in a crowd. Then I would say no, you know. What about um, if somebody's moving out there and they literally know nothing about the place, where is a good area for them to live that's inexpensive but yet they're not going to be shot dead the minute they step out their door? Inexpensive and safe? Um, <laughs> uh, good luck with that. <laughs> I don't know. I suppose North Hollywood would probably be the least expensive, but there's a lot of gangs there. Um, you know, depending on where in North Hollywood. LA is really weird because you can live, you know, on this block and it's really safe, and then you go two blocks over and it's really bad. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, you just have to be careful. I mean, I, I lived out there and never got mugged or anything, so oh. it was, I was okay. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. So, um, due to uh, getting married and, and, and having children, you wound up moving back here? When my son was really small, I just realized I didn't want to raise him out there. It's kind of a crazy lifestyle. <laughs> Um, and my family was here and, you know, there's a great film community here actually. There's, there's a lot to do. Um, it's tougher to make a living at it, um, cause not a lot of jobs pay here. Mm -hmm. Um, but once you kind of, you know, start networking and get to, um, work with the group of people here in the industry, um, it's a great place to be. I mean, I'm really enjoying it. So. I, uh, sometimes I miss Hollywood, but I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay being here right now. How would you compare um, Minneapolis to Hollywood as far as like uh, ease of getting cast and things? Is it easier here? Oh, it's much, it's much easier. Oh, definitely. And every time I work in something, I know somebody, you know, who I've worked with before or whatever. It's kind of the same um, people working all the time, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, out there, it's really hard. It's really hard to get a decent role. I mean, you might get a line here or there, or a featured extra thing or whatever, but there's just so many people, and there's so much nepotism out there, and it's all about who you know. A lot of it is luck, um, but yeah, there's just so many people doing it. So tell us uh, some of the shows and movies that you've been on. Well, I have kind of a fun story. Um, I worked on the TV show Roseanne, and that was quite an experience. I was hired on as a dancer. I just had this little dance bit, um, and Roseanne got very upset with us because um, we basically what you do on a, a TV show like that that's filmed in front of a live audience is you rehearse, you know, through the week, and then on the final day 
you shoot it in front of a live audience. And so we had been, you know, rehearsing our little dance bit all week. And um, then on the last day, uh, we were rehearsing before we were going to shoot. And she walks over and watches us and then decides to switch it all up. So she's like, uh, no, we're going to switch partners. You dance with him and you dance with her. And, and she switched it up. And we're like, are you kidding me? I have to do this live now. So I talked to the first um, AD and I was like, why is she doing that? I, now I have to start all over. And he's like, you know what? Don't even pay attention. Just go ahead and, and do it the way you had been rehearsing it. She won't even notice. So we're like, okay. So we just went back to doing it the way we were. Well, sure enough, she walks over and sees that we hadn't, you know, followed her direction. And she had a fit. I mean, <laughs> bleep this, bleep that, what the, you know, oh my God. I mean, flying out of her mouth. And I was like, okay, I'm fired. And she, she was kind of a scary woman. Um, but then Tom Arnold came over and was like, Roseanne, you know, what are you, what are you yelling about? And uh, he told her to just leave it alone, leave it the way it was. And he pretty much yelled at her. And then she got upset and stormed off. And it was crazy. But we did end up doing it the way we had originally rehearsed it. So it all worked out. What Was but, it a scene that she was even in? No. <laughs> no, it was a scene that Darlene, Darlene was in. And uh, <laughs> she was at this dance. Yeah, so no, she wasn't even in it. I, I don't know. I think she was just kind of on this little power trip or something. But. Uh, <laughs> Tom Arnold, her husband at the time, put her in her place. So that was interesting. So tell us about when you were a guardian angel out there also. Yes. OK, that, that was an interesting time in my life. Um, I was a struggling actress, waitress, um, guardian angel on the side <laughs> at night. Uh, I was a part of the Los Angeles Hollywood chapter of guardian angels. And I was the only female at the time. And yeah, we would just go on patrol and, and we would patrol um, Hollywood and, you know, make sure everything was cool, streets were safe. A lot of times we'd work with the police and um, they would radio things into us like, you know, they were so busy dealing with drive-by shootings and things like that. So when they would get calls for, I don't know, maybe a bum who wouldn't leave at Popeye's chicken or you know, somebody exposing themselves in the alley or whatever, <laughs> they would call us and we would have to go um, deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw all kinds of things. Um, yeah, I was shot at once. Um, yeah, you know, crack fiends. Um, oh, you name it, I saw it. Did you get to beat anybody up? I, no, I never did. <laughs> I never did. I made a citizen's arrest, we did that. and. Um, chased a couple of people, but no, I never, never actually beat anybody up. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, thanks so much for being here, Jennifer. Uh, we, well, we, all, we can all benefit from your wisdom, from uh, your Hollywood experience, and um, we certainly enjoyed watching your shorts, and we'll watch many others. Well, thank you. thank you. Thanks so for having me on your show. <laughs>